The Kansas City Chiefs want Orlando Brown in-house long-term. Don Portner, Brown's new agent, wants to get him paid like the top left tackle. Orlando Brown has one thing he has to do, and I'm going to tell you about it right now. Welcome back. This is RGR Football. I'm Ryan going rogue, and I want to hit a couple of the quick takes. These are the first takes on a topic that I just want to get you some information out there and be just a starting point about where some of this stuff is. And it's, it's a really strange uh, process that's gone through for Orlando Brown to get his guy, but he's got his guy. Now the question is, what are you trying to accomplish and how are you going to get there? So if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, sub, and hit this bell. Become a sub. You want to know what's going on around here. Because I'm going to tell you, no intro, no frills today. We're just getting right to the takes so that we can be quick. And I'm going to try to do this a little bit more often. So we're going to get into it. And I want to show you, uh, at the end of the day, it is about Orlando getting what he needs for his life. He did mention he wants a personal relationship with his agent. He mentioned that he wants to grow his brand outside of football for post-football. Smart thinking, good for him. But you also have to be focused on the right now. <clears throat> and you've made this decision and you put yourself in a place where the team wants you but needs to get a deal. Your agent wants to get the most money he possibly can and make you the top LT in this league. That is a lofty goal for a first-time agent and for his first client of a new agency. Um, that is, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it puts him in a very difficult situation. There's, there's, there's no way to sugarcoat that. That is the truth. And that's okay. Sometimes things are worth doing. It, it is Michael Portner, his new agent, that is going to have to do the work here. But it's about Orlando, and it's about getting back to what is your goal You've hired a person who works for you. Personal relationships aside, your agent works for you. You have a team that you work for. This is a meeting of three parties, and it's up to Orlando Brown to control what happens. And the number one thing that he has to do is stay in tune with what's going on. He has to be the decision maker because these parties are going to be pushing in different positions. And unlike a negotiation with an established agent, someone that the team has a relationship with, they already know how they work, that kind of thing. And unlike a negotiation where it's not for the top tackle money or the top positional money, when it's it's more of a not the number one of a position because that's always critical and that's always a contentious negotiation. Those two things make this very difficult. And it puts the, the two parties at odds because there's a lot of, of precedent. The Chiefs don't want to give up that kind of money. They want to pay him what he's worth and what they project him to be worth. And Portner wants to get the most money that he possibly can and make him the top tackle to not only prove his agency and his worth as an agent, but to get Orlando where he needs to be long term. The truth will come in the middle, and that will be what ends up happening. It's about how you get there. And unlike other vested veterans that are able to just kind of say, my reps are going to deal with it. They're going to negotiate the deal. I'll just put the final stamp on it, yes or no, if they get what we get. He has to be more involved. He has to be the decision maker because in the end, it is going to be about, do you want to win? Do you want to be with the Chiefs? Do you want to risk having to play on that franchise tag? Or worse, I can't see him sitting out, so it would be the franchise tag. I'm just saying there is one other nuclear possibility that I don't think will happen. But he has to be involved. He has to be the man in charge of his life with a new fresh agent who hasn't done this before. He can't step back. He has to maintain his control and his perspective and be in the mix. That's best for Orlando, it's best for Portner, and it's certainly best for the Kansas City Chiefs. Because in the end, everyone has the similar situation that their goal is to be a champion. And that has to be true for all three parties. That's where they have to be. And I put this out just to, as a reminder to the Chiefs fans, this is going to be back and forth. But for Orlando as well, don't just write it off. It's not an established agency. It's not like some of the other vets that you may know or talk to. So take it, maintain your control for your life and your brand going forward. This is key. It's, it, it, second contract is always huge in a career. And I think this has got to be taken with all the certainty that you possibly can and make a serious decision. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. How do you like this format? I'm trying to be quick. And just get this stuff out so you guys have a little bit of taste of what's going on. So if you're new, like, sub, hit the bell. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, we'll be live on Monday. Like always, Q&A at 6 p.m. We'll be live on Thursday for Chief in the North. Like always, thank you for checking this one out.